Greetings everyone, it is Andrew here from iDownloadBlog. Today we're going to take a look at Griffin's new BreakSafe magnetic USB-C power cable. Now this will work with any device for charging, whether it's a phone or a tablet, as long as it uses USB-C. But the main uh, product of interest here would be the new Retina MacBook. When Apple came out with the Retina MacBook, it only had one port on there aside from a headphone jack. And that's a single USB-C port that's obviously used for data as well as charging. And with the inclusion of USB-C, we unfortunately lost MagSafe. So you were forced to have an actual tethered cable on no more magnetic power cables like Apple has always had in the past. Griffin is aiming to bring that back to the Mac with this BreakSafe USB-C cable. Now, unfortunately, this is not just an adapter that you can put onto any other cable. It is actually a six foot USB-C replacement cable to replace the one that basically came with your MacBook. As far as the cable goes, there's not a lot really to see here. It's a standard USB-C cable, at least on one side. And the other side is obviously that magnetic part. What's nice is this comes from Griffin and it has a full lifetime warranty. So if anything should ever go wrong with your brake safe cable, they will gladly replace it for you. The small magnetic side will just simply attach. It is direction oriented. So if you try to put it on backward, it will reject you and you just have to flip it around to actually connect it. Both of the ends are kind of made out of aluminum here. It looks very nice with some chamfered edges, similar to what Apple had on their previous iPhones. The magnetic side is really where it's more interesting though. It's slightly larger than the other side and unfortunately the side that goes into your laptop protrudes quite a bit. On the back side, you'll notice two little dash marks. So that's how you know which sides get oriented to each other, which is kind of a bummer. I wish that it would work both ways. USB-C is, you know, reversible, but unfortunately this cable is not as, at least as far as the magnets in here go. Now, the other drawback for me is the fact that this only transfers power. So you can use this 100% to charge your computer. It's gonna work great. But on the flip side of that, you cannot use this to transfer data. So if you have like a hard drive that you have plugged in using USB-C, you're out of luck. You're gonna have to take that nub out of your computer, the little adapter part, put in your standard cable, and then switch this back. So even though Griffin recommends leaving this in all the time, I find that to be a bit of an annoyance and I really wouldn't want to do that because it sticks out so much. For me, the ideal use of this is if I have my laptop, I have it sitting on my desk and I'm just worried someone's gonna walk by, a cat's gonna walk by, a dog's gonna walk by, a coworker, and they're gonna trip on that cable and pull it off. And I don't want my super light laptop to just go flying through the air. If you wanna pick one of these up, you can find it for $39, which is a $10 premium over Apple's just plain USB-C cable. I'll put a link in the description below, and if you found this video somewhat useful, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. Otherwise, until next time, this is Andrew for iDownloadBlog.